What's up guys, Micah here with your fourth iPhone game programming tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be adding physics bodies to our hero as well as our ground class and possibly get to some basic hero movement. So um, to start, we want to add a physics body to our ground node here. And I'll explain what a physics body is exactly in just a sec. So every single node has a property called physics body. So for the ground, we're going to set the physics body to SK physics body. That's the class that um, that's the class that defines a physics body, and we'll do body with rectangle of size ground dot size. So um, when you set the, the physics body property of a node, it will automatically start simulating physics on that node. So gravity and other physics body interactions will immediately start to affect it. So now if we run this, you'll see that gravity is going to affect the ground. It's going to disappear immediately. Um, it's gone, it's still moving down, and all the calculations are still being made for where it is, even though it's off the screen. But um, that ground is gone for good. So to change it so that gravity doesn't affect the ground node that we have, we're going to set the dynamic property of the physics body. So we're going to do ground.physicsbody.dynamic equals no. So now when we rerun this, oh, freaking out on me. Okay, so now we re now we see that the ground is just where it was. It's where it's positioned and it looks exactly the same as in the beginning. Now, why exactly do we set the physics body of the ground if we don't want physics to actually be simulated on it? The reason we're doing that is because when we set the physics body of the hero node right here, um, we want the hero to interact with the ground and not fall right through it. So now we're going to do the same thing with the hero class. We're going to go into ML hero. We're going to go hero dot physics body equals SK physics body body with rectangle of size hero dot size. So now the hero has its own physics body, so it's going to simulate gravity and it's also going to simulate this interaction you see with the ground here. So um, you see that when two physics bodies interact with one another, they just collide. They don't actually overlap. And that's um, a powerful piece of the, um, the physics world that you can generate with SpriteKit. So now that we actually have the physics body set up, we're going to work with some basic movement. So we want to we move the hero to the right and to the left. And this behavior actually isn't going to be incorporated into the final game product, but it will help you understand a couple of the um, concepts I'm going to explain in future tutorials like centering the camera on the node, you'll be able to kind of see exactly what you're doing in the code. So in the ML Hero class, we want to make, um, we're going, we want to make one method. We're just going to call it walk right. So um, when this method is called, in the header file, you want to also um, just put in walk right as well so that it can be accessed outside the class. <laughs> so what we're going to work with um, right now, it's going to be a new thing called SK actions. Now, actions are uh, things you can run on nodes, um, actions you can run on nodes that do a variety of different things, and it's super fun to mess with. You can make nodes rotate, you can make nodes move, you can make nodes disappear, grow, shrink. SK action is an extremely powerful tool for SpriteKit. So, we're going to call this SK action um, increment right. It's going to be SK action move by x. We're going to say move it by 10, um, y by 0, and a duration of 0 seconds. So now we're going to actually run this action on the hero. So we're going to do self run action increment right. So every single node has this method called run action. And Within that, um, within that argument, you can put in an action to run on the node. Um, all actions are created, as you can see right here. You do SK action, they're all factory methods, move by X. Um, you can check out all the SK actions that you can do in the API for Apple, which can be accessed to the help menu here at the top, and then documentation and API reference. Then in the search bar, you can just look up SK action and it will give you a list of all those. I highly recommend you guys go check that out because um, not only is it fun to experiment with, it's extremely powerful for creating 
um, these really smooth animations and actions for your scene. So now that we have the walk right method set up, we can go back into the my scene class. And so now we're going to work um, with the touches began method. Now this method is called every single time someone touches the iPhone or the device. So um, this is where we're going to actually incorporate the movement. So we want to have it so every single time that someone touches the device anywhere on the device, um, we're going to have that block move 10 points to the right. So to access the hero that we that we created right here from this touches began function, we actually need to set the name property of the hero, um, which I forgot to do. So we're going to go into ML hero. We're going to set hero dot name equals hero. Now we're going to um, I'm going to make an easier way to actually access this in future tutorials, but this is just going to explain um, a pretty important function that you can call on the scene which will access a node by its name. So we're going to do ML hero hero. So this is going to be the same exact hero that we created right here. We're going to do self, so we're accessing the scene, child node with name. Now you're going to be using this method a lot, um, so setting the names of your nodes is a really good practice. I'm going to do hero, the name is going to be hero we want to access. So now, now this hero pointer has this class that we created right here loaded into it. So we can go, now we can go hero, um, walk right. So every single time we touch the screen, it's going to call that walk right method. Also, you need to cast um, this to a ML hero. You don't really need to understand exactly why this is the case, um, but basically, with the child node with name method has um, SK node as its return type. So you just the compiler just wants you to be a little bit more specific um, and put an ML hero there. So now if we run this and we tap on the screen, you can see that this block, it moves 10, 10 points to the right. And it, that happens every single time we click. And um, yeah, that's... Awesome. This was like my favorite part of learning Sprite is just actually getting some basic, um, some basic interaction going. So that's it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one.